My name is Gary Harpster and you're watching Understanding WAS and LPV, Part 2 of 4, How WAS Works. The signals from the GPS satellites are received across the North American system as a widely spaced wide area reference station. The WRS locations are precisely surveyed so that any errors in the received GPS signal can be detected. The GPS information that's collected by the WRS sites is forwarded to the WASP master stations via a terrestrial communication network. At the WMS, the WASP augmentation messages are generated. These messages contain information that allows the GPS receivers to remove any errors in the GPS signal, allowing for a significant increase in location accuracy and reliability. The augmented messages are sent from the WMS to the uplink stations to be transmitted to the navigational payloads on geostationary communication satellites. The navigation payloads broadcast the augmented signal on the GPS-like signal to your aircraft. The GPS WAS receiver processes that augmented message as part of the estimated position. The LPV approach on an approach plate is called out you'll see that it says WAS approach on it. So just like any other approach, GPS approach, VOR approach, ILS, it calls out particular criteria. So you take the approach appropriate to that airport, channel it up in your receiver, and fly the approach. This shows you how the LPV is enunciated. Depending on what type of EFIS you have, it may or may not be capable of displaying LPV technology and LPV enunciation. If not, external enunciation would be required. On this slide, it shows you what the WAS approach looks like on a typical navigational receiver. For more information, call a Duncan Aviation Expert at 800-228-4277 or visit duncanaviation.aero/wasp for additional information.